Elongation of stitches is a feature that's found on many of our Juki machines. It's a feature that allows you to take certain satin stitches that are built into the machine and make them up to five times their original length. So here's a sample. You can see it's brought in as the original length and then changed two, three, four, and five times. This is a great way to create more decorative stitches and to create patterns for art quilts. Now to find out if this feature is available for your machine, just refer to your instruction manual that came with the machine. The machine I'm using today is our NX7 machine. And this is our top of the line machine. It has a 12 inch throat space here. Plus it has features such as the auto presser foot lift, it has your thread trimmers, speed control, needle up, needle down. A lot of more features are available on this machine. So we're going to be using the stitches that are in our satin stitch category. So I'm going to zoom into the screen here so that you can see those stitches a little better. So now I want to choose one of the satin stitches that will work with the elongation feature. And you can find this information in your instruction manual that came with the machine. So I'm going to go to the category for the satin stitches. And these are all of the folders of the stitches. And I'm going to choose this folder down here. And now I have all of those stitches that are available in that folder. But you'll see there's two pages here. If I touch the arrow pointing to the left, that page will open up. And these are all of the stitches in that particular folder on the machine. So I'm just going to choose the stitch I want to work with. And that's going to be stitch number 280, a scallop stitch. And I'm going to close that window so that I can get to my settings menu so that I can find the elongation feature. So the settings is at the top of the screen. When you touch that icon, a window pops open that allows you to do some things with this stitch. We can mirror image the stitch, vertical or horizontal. And this is our elongation feature right here. So we're going to touch that icon. And now we have a window that's going to allow us to change the stitch two times its original size, three times, four times, and five times. And you can see the changes taking place on the screen as you do that. So maybe I want to make this three times the length. All I have to do is touch that till it says times three. Touch the check mark to close the window, and I'm now ready to stitch my pattern. But what if I want to do a pattern that I can combine stitches, such as something like this, where I actually have a long scallop and then a short scallop that I have combined? And we'll talk about these stitches in just a little bit. So the feature on this machine that allows you to do that is our combination where we can program stitches into the memory of the machine. So at the top of the screen we can touch our combination mode and now it puts us into the memory of this machine and we can now enter stitches and create a sequence of stitches. This could be with stitches or lettering, anything you want once you're into the combination screen. So now I want to actually pick a stitch because we're still working with the elongation of stitches. So I'm going to take the same scallop stitch and select it. And I'm going to select another stitch to put in here. So I want to do something again with the scallop and make it long. So I'm going to touch it twice and now I have two scallops in my window. But I want to work with the first scallop so there is a page up and page down here at the bottom and when I touch page up you see the first scallop is selected and now I can actually go and change that stitch so I'm going back into my settings I can change the elongation of that one maybe I want it to be two times the length and then I want to work with the second stitch so I'm going to touch the little page down arrow here to highlight the second stitch 
And this one, I'm going to leave the elongation as is, but I want to mirror image this one. So to get back to the other screen, if I touch the check mark, that confirmed that I changed that first stitch, then I can go back into the settings menu again, and now I have my mirror image, and I can mirror image that scallop stitch. Now maybe I want to add a different stitch to that. I'm going to close the settings menu so I can get back to my stitches. And if I touch the arrow here now, you'll see at the top it's showing me the stitches that I have in my sequence that I'm creating. So I'm going to close that back up because I want to go get some different stitches this time. Um, so let me go back into my satin stitches. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to open this window so I can see all of the stitches that are available. And maybe this time I won't stitch 276. See how it throws it up there into the window? So it's showing me that now that stitch is also in my sequence of stitches. And I could choose another stitch. And you see that they're all showing up there. So I'm going to close this window. But now I want to get back to this stitch because I want to elongate that stitch. There's my up and down arrows. It shows I have four stitches in this pattern. I'm going to touch the up arrow, and now that pattern number three is highlighted, and now I can work with that pattern. Again, I touch the settings at the top. I can mirror image this if I choose, or I can actually touch the elongation, and I can elongate this pattern. Maybe I want this pattern to be two times its original length. Once I have that, I touch the check mark to confirm. And now I'm back and I'm ready to start sewing my sequence. Again, if you want to check to see that you've put in everything correctly or you like what you've put in, touch the white bar here with the arrow to the left. This window opens up and at the top here you can change any stitches, look at the stitches, and see if you're ready to stitch. Once you are, you can stitch from this window or you can close this window and we're now ready to stitch our pattern. So now you're ready to begin stitching your pattern. Here's the pattern that we just programmed in. So here are a few patterns that I have created using the elongation feature and using the elongation feature in a combination pattern as well. And here's another pattern. You can create anything that your imagination will allow. I did a combination of the scallop with the elongation and I did it in a circular pattern and then I put some of those starburst patterns in the center. All of this information on how to do this can be found on our website www.jukiquilting.com. We have a document with all of your step-by-step -step instructions on how to achieve these looks. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoy this feature on your machine.